welcome to another Our Town Community Show. I am super excited today to have my friend and colleague, Nathan McMichael, join us on the show. Nathan, my friend, how are you doing? I'm good, Ryan. I'm good. good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, here. The, the, I'm so glad you're here. And we were uh, having some great off-air conversations. So they said, you guys uh, better go live here in a second or <laughs> they're going to get back at you. So, right. But we got a 15-minute show, Nathan. And I thought of you at the top of my list and these initial shows we're doing. Um, let's just let our audience know more about uh, the person you are. Tell us how important family and friends are to you in your life. And, you know, goodness, especially the last 24 months. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, as you know, I've got, you know, um, the family with, with three boys, 10, 9, and 7. So, <laughs> quiet, right now. Quiet household. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, right. quiet and clean. <laughs> clean, um, I bet, yeah. <laughs> so, we're, we're in that, very much into that uh, busy, busy, nonstop phase of life. So, uh, it's, it's, it's great, though. You know, we live in Grayson, and it's, you know, we have a great time with it, just trying to keep up and set a good pace for everybody, you know. Yeah, well, that is a that is a stage. Um, I can remember my kids were right about that age, and you have three daughters, and you have the three sons. Right. But we got to that stage in a couple of years where it's like, God, it feels like we need more space. And then I blinked an eye, and all of a sudden they get older, and it's like now we have almost too much space. <laughs> so it's, it's it's that precious thing we talk about in the show is of our time, yeah. right? Yeah. So how important would you say to yourself or to our audience is? balancing your time and, and all the things that are important to you. I mean, you're yeah. a business owner, your spouse, your dad, you know, you, you give back in the community, but you only got 24 hours a day. Yeah, I mean, exactly. how, do you, how do you approach that? I, that's, I mean, it's very important to me. Uh, you can ask my wife, like, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm always trying to manage our time, you know, and, and, you know, be careful with what we commit to because I mean, we get one shot with the, the kids and 100%. teaching them and just being, spending time with them. And in this culture, it's just hundred miles an hour. So, um, yeah, we try to balance, you know, with our social life and <laughs> what the, the sports that we, you know, our kids are in and stuff like that, you know, and it's, it's tough. It's, it's tough, tough when there's so many options and, and things available and as the kids grow and their interests. Um, but it's very important, you know, just to manage that time. So really primarily so that we can be a family, that family unit, right? right? And, and, you know, be able to experience that which only happens once. <laughs> you, you do, and and you know, I was telling a guest in the previous show, I have some friends that asked me this because my kids are got two. One's out of college, one's in college, and one's a freshman in high school. And I say, well, you know, I'm not as you don't have that with my kids. I'm like, but you you got to put the investment of time, mm -hmm. and you know what? And you got to sacrifice something else possibly right. because you can't. You and I can't be. There's only one person can do that. We can't be more 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 one place at a time. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about like the faith component. I mean, I know you're probably like me. You don't go around talking about everything, but I know that's a big part of what drives how you make decisions and how you run your business. Uh, and there'll be more information on that once the show comes out. But is that an important part for you just to stay grounded and how you make decisions? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's it's really the most important aspect of our life. Um, and prioritizing our time, you know, to to make sure that we're stable um, and we're acting accordingly to our faith. Um, and uh, so, you know, part of our, our church community and, um, you know, making those efforts to, to teach our boys, you know, all those values um, that, yeah, we believe in. Um, so it's been, yeah, that's, but, that's but high you, priority. The, 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 the thing I uh, Nathan, I think is, is the highest compliment I give is, is you don't just go around throwing Bible verses out. You 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 can tell something different about you without you needing to tell me something different about you. And I think that's the highest quality of people of faith. It's like you don't have to throw out every Bible verse and everything you do. People can see by the way you live your life. And if they want to know more, they're probably going to ask you. Yeah, right? well, that's encouraging. Is I mean, right? That's what I would hope. Yeah, it is. Know? But it is. <laughs> so it's encouraging. You know, I can see in people, but, you know, when, when somebody used to beat you over the head and say, like, did you know this about me? I'm like, all right, dude, just right. back off. And I think that's where we got a lot of our world going, I'm interested, but are we friends first so I can exactly. like know I can trust you? Yeah, it's so important to have that relationship. I mean, that's what, that's what business is all about. That's 100%. What, you know, faith is all about. It's, I mean... You can't go knocking, you know, a bat over <laughs> someone's head, you know, and expect them to respond well. Right? They're gonna go, yeah, you're like the tenth guy's done it to me. See ya. Yeah. And but if they know Nathan, the guy, going, man, he he falls short. He's a good guy though. I, I'll I'll 
I'd like to know more about whatever. So, you know, in, in terms of, let's talk about your business for a second. You own, very successful. We've partnered together for years. We've done work back and forth. I'm calling you soon because my wife's on me about <laughs> fixing my, uh, uh, she didn't listen to my show, so she, she won't hear this. But um, in all seriousness, um, one of the things you do or your company does, it was it the REACH initiative. Yeah. And tell me about that. I mean, giving back, uh, giving back is so important, I know, to you. And yeah. uh, so what is that? Remember the acronym you were telling me before we went on the air. What does that stand for again? Yeah, we call it the REACH initiative because our, our values are, are set with the acronym REACH, okay. which is uh, respect, excellence, availability, character, and humility. Nice. Um, and those are just values that, of course, that I want to exude you know, yeah. in business and in relationships. And so the REACH initiative kind of came from that, and that's a way to give back to our community um, and to um, help, you know, at least once a year, help, you know, some organization or person that is in need, um, you know, and we've been blessed enough to, to do that. So yeah. taking on that and just helping our community, that's pretty important to me. And I love doing that every year. It, it is, uh, you know, it caught my eye and, and some of the things we do and, and, you know, giving back and, you know, trying to help people. I mean, you know, you and I share that in common. It's like, there's a way to help people and there's a way to do it. I just feel it kind of all comes back to you in some manner, not, and that's not the reason you or I do it, but it's like you, you pay it and help people. And I think if you do those things with a, with a humble, you know, nothing you're looking for in return, I think things kind of go like that. Yeah. And, um, you know, you have a lot of people, uh, you know, thinking through that. So that's, a, that's important, yeah. but, through this pandemic and um, in particular, you know, spiritual fitness, mental fitness, physical fitness, how important are those to you or the, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think everybody can attest to, you know, the mental fitness being <laughs> the, you know, priority and just like hard to come by a lot of times the mental stability uh, with all the stuff that's going on. Phones around. going off, yeah. pandemics, people doing that, rules changing. I mean, exactly. Right. Running you the don't business. know what's, you know, what you can do and what you can't do. So right. it's, it's very hard and. Yeah, and that's why you know creating that margin. I'm all about creating margin Love because that. if you don't work at it, it's yeah. you're overtaken. So well, it's like that. Uh, there was a book. I don't know if you ever. Do you ever read the book margin? There's a book margin, think, no. and I referenced it okay. in this book. In the book, I have actually a quote from the um, author in this book I wrote in 2015. Okay. But his whole point was, if you write all the way to the edge of your page. You have nothing left. In other words, there's a margin around a piece of paper for a reason. Right. Or, or if you're painting, you know, if you paint up, to, well, that's about a bad example. But, but, <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying is like, you got to work at that. Yeah. If you say yes to everything, I don't know how, I don't know. I mean, I used to when I was younger. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. But you aren't. Do you, do you agree with me? I mean, I don't yeah. know how you can, how are you going to see your kids' games and be there for your spouse and run a business? Something's right. going to fall short. Yeah, and it's proven, I mean, it's scientifically even like, you know, if, if you take that time to rest and recuperate, then you're more efficient, you know, going back into it. So right. it's like, you, you know, people get a mindset of just doing, 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 but you the, know, it just tires me. Um, I can't you, work so well. You know, I, I see, I see people, uh, and, and you know, you've known me pretty well. I'm, I'm, I go, but I also yeah. know when to just shut it down and go. And my wife's really, she's not gonna hear this either, <laughs> but, but she's really good at going, you need to shut it down this weekend. I mean, yeah. like I'm talking about whether it's the dissertation, you've just got to shut your mind off. Yeah. And you know what? You come out refreshed. Right. And, and you know, there's that whole mentality out there in business. You and I work really hard. Mm -hmm. Well, I know we do. We, I know you, I know you. But I feel when you grind past the point, it's like taking your car and running into the, you know, and just continuing to rev. Something, what's going to happen to your engine? Yeah. <laughs> Blow it up. Yeah. And I mean, you know, we're, what are we doing this for anyway? You know, it's like, <laughs> I, I enjoy, you know, the time off and, you know, I took, Two weeks. In I saw December, that. That's good for you. Because it was like we need it, you know, and it kind of just refocused. But yeah, why are we doing it? We're trying to live a life that this has some balance. Yeah. And then and, you know, because if it's all work and not, I mean, life. I think if we've learned anything these last two years, and it's a reminder. It's it's short. Yeah. And and there's no guarantee of anything. Yeah. We hear about COVID. But there's plenty of people having other issues going on be yeah. way beyond COVID. Yeah. So I actually had seen uh, one of y'all's great marketing type newsletters saying, you know, we're going to ha have some much needed downtime. And did you come back refreshed? 
I did. I did. It took me. <laughs> a little it took time me to, almost a week to, to actually what? get into like not looking at your mindset. emails or phone or right, thinking. Right. But yeah. Oh man, it was it was really good. And then and then you have the problem I have of ramping back up when you're like, man, this is kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's hard to yeah. switch gears. Fortunately, that week back was you know kind of eased yeah, into it. it so yeah, it was great though. You know, and it's so important. I mean, I'm glad you're saying that because there's a lot of people that listen to the show and they feel that if you know they, you know, if you're not doing something every second. There's some great leadership people I've read over the years of uh, saying, you know, it's okay to take some time each day to think, mm -hmm. just to think. And, you know, if you think about what we do, like, well, I'm not doing anything, but something like, you know, and, and some stuff we talked on off air or whatever, but it takes time to go, what am I trying to do? I mean, because if you, you just keep doing things without taking time to reflect on yeah. them, we're going, you know, I have my youngest uh, daughter's soccer game tonight, kickoff, mm -hmm. and she's starting as freshman. I'm super excited. This is my last rodeo, yeah. last dance. Yeah, you know? yeah. um, but if you don't have to, but I'm also going, I have to get through traffic. And get, but you got to go, why am I doing? Well, you know what? It's like you said, because I want to be there in the moment, yeah. in the present. And something else, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not going to be able to be at something else. Right. But that's more important. Right. Right. There's always things to say yes to. And it's hard a lot of times to say no, but that no is opening up for a lot more quality stuff. And that's how you build a platform of you know, your faith and your and your spouse and yeah. your and your and your business and your kids, because there's only one of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's only one of me, you know, and uh, you know it's, it's one of those things. Yeah. Um, so tell me something, Nathan. We're in 2022. <laughs> Fun. You know, what, yeah. what do you look at your fun? It. It's already 2022, <laughs> right? I mean, it's all, I mean, you know, the show's going to come out in a couple of weeks. But, but yeah, I mean, do you feel this way a little bit? Like we talked about getting out of, I'm getting confused on your stuff, getting out of 2020 mm -hmm. and then 2021. I remember in my magazine, I wrote the article, like now we're talking about 22. Now we're in the 2022. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, it is. I, I was just looking into a project that we did and, and I thought it was last year and no, it was 2020. <laughs> and I was like, well, just, I, where did 21 go? I know. You know. It's on your calendar. There's this, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 yeah. it's hard, I think, for our minds to comprehend. But yeah. if if things are, 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 you know, going and hopefully going in the direction we want, is there something fun you're looking forward to this year or having more of this year? Whether it's your business, your personal life, something you're looking forward to doing. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it's been, you know, for our industry, uh, a whirlwind, uh, really, the last couple of years. And so, you know, it's, again, the stage of life I'm in with wife and kids and just keeping up with all that <laughs> is uh, is super important. So I'm trying to balance work yep. and home life and just spending as much time with my boys, you know, and uh, they only, you know, I'm their only dad. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got a limited amount of time. You do, you, know? you do. And, and I'll tell you, uh, and I guess telling the guest, uh, uh, earlier, uh, the same thing. It's like you're doing the exact same stage of life, and man, you don't get a second shot. Yeah. So it's those seeds. You know, it's like a biblical thing. The seeds you plant, that time. You don't remember it was after a game, getting a yogurt or something. They're like ten years later, going like, Dad, you remember that time you told me? And he'll be like, Yeah, right. Like, I always thought about that time. Yeah. Right. And those are goosebump moments, man, because you just right. don't know what you say, and you're like, Well, I'm sure I still got work. I, I got to be here. And all of a sudden, you hear that, and you're like, Wow. All right. Right. And in looking back, you know, we can all do that reflection, but you go, wow, wow, you know. Yeah. So, you know, so. It's wild how fast it goes. But, you know, hopefully you have something fun this year to like, I'm looking forward to, you know, I'm looking forward to personally. I don't really love the cold weather. I'm looking forward to warmer weather. I'm lo looking Always. forward to concerts again. I lo you know, love sports. I'm just, I just want the, the world to kind of move back to, um, actually I actually have Final Four tickets from two years ago that I got in Atlanta in okay. 2020. And they just kept pushing them over. So now I've got them. I haven't decided if I'm going to go yet, but for New right. Orleans, and I'm like, well, it'd be kind of cool, but then I got to, you know, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see all that yeah. plays out, but That'd I'm hopeful awesome. for a, for a, you know, a, a fun year of, of whatever. Yeah. What final things as we kind of come to a close, you know, that you want to make sure our audience just kind of thinks about, you know, just a couple of nuggets of advice, you know, to think about as, you know, we start heading to this into this first quarter of 2022. That's a big question. It is a big uh, question. You can break it down any way you want, or maybe one. I it's mean, one thing to think about. You know, the, be present. The yeah, I mean, the things you know that are important to me are just you know what what I spend my time on and what I invest in, and um, you know, community is yeah. huge. And because yeah. I mean, there's so many things we can invest in in so many ways, but you know, the relationships and the community around us, those are things that are. You know, forever. Um, and You're huge. Um, yeah, just and y'all do y'all do a fantastic job of walking the walk. And I know I said that before, but you do, and that's why I wanted to have you on here because 
you know, we're, we own businesses, but there's more to the business. People, you know, there's the the uh, the person behind that, and I yeah. hold you in high regard, my friend. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Abs- yeah. Absolutely. You as well. <laughs> thank, well, thank you. Well, we try, right? We try to exactly. do the best we can, and, yeah. and iron sharp desire. So, yeah. Uh, that's Nathan McMichael. Uh, his information will be on the show. But uh, thanks for joining us again. Thanks, as always, folks, this is my town. This is your town. This is our town. See you next time.